Hello crafty friends, welcome to the third video in our embossing folder ideas series. In this video I'm going to make a sending love card using an embossing folder to add texture and pattern to three die cut squares that I'll use as focal points. To begin the process I blended two green inks onto a piece of mixed media paper. I picked green because the embossing folder I'd chosen to work with had a lovely leafy motif and I wanted the card to have a nature theme. The inks I'm using are from the Catherine Pooler Spa Collection. I chose these because they're soft and muted and suited the feel of the sending love theme. To add a bit of visual texture to the ink, I splattered on some water and then mopped it up with a paper towel. Once it was dry, I used a small square frame die to cut out four squares and their surrounding frames. After separating the squares from the frames, I placed them inside my embossing folder and ran them through my cuttle bug. I didn't try too hard to line up the squares on the design as it's a loose pattern that would work from any direction really, if you see what I mean. Next I took the embossed squares and matched them back up with their frames because I wanted each square and frame to look like one piece once they were glued together and on my card. In the end, I only added three of the squares as I wanted to add them in a straight line and generally speaking, three elements look more appealing than four in that kind of configuration, but having four meant I could choose the best three. I adhered my squares to a piece of smooth white cardstock using tacky glue and made sure they were lined up nicely using my T-square ruler. I didn't do any measuring though, I just eyeballed it to make sure the gaps between the squares were as equal as I could make them. Once that was done, I used my guillotine to trim down my cardstock into a long, thin panel. And to make my panel look as if it had been die cut, I ran an embossing tool around the outside to give it beveled edges. And I think this makes it look a little bit more polished, a little bit more finished. After that, I added foam tape to the back of the panel so that it would have some dimension once I added it to the card front. Again, I pulled out my trusty T-square ruler to help me get my panel on straight. To embellish my card, I die cut some flowers out of white cardstock and then gave them a light blush of the green inks. I used a grip mat and the bits of card they've been cut from to help me keep them still while I inked them and to protect them from tearing. I do have a tendency to be rather vigorous with my inking. Once they were ready, I added one flower to each square using tacky glue. And then I cut three more from white cardstock. But before I cut them, I added clear packing tape to the card to give it a glossy finish. This is by far the quickest, easiest and least messy way of creating glossy die cuts, I think. Next, I added the glossy die cuts on top of the inked die cuts and offset them slightly so that the inked die cuts were still visible. This just added another layer of interest and depth to the card. Thank you. 
For my sentiment, I used my typewriter to type out sending all our love, and then I used a stitch banner die to cut it out. The banner die was a bit long though, so I simply shuffled it along the die cut a bit and then ran the whole thing through my mini Gemini again to cut it to the correct length. After adding this sentiment to the central flower, I added some mini enamel dots for a bit of extra interest and then I called it done. I very much enjoyed making this card and I love the texture that the embossing folder gave to those background squares. When you try to make cards with lots of empty white space, such as clean and simple cards, it can be challenging to know how to include the use of embossing folders because it's tempting to just emboss whole card panels. But using them to add texture to small die cuts is a great way of including them in your clean and simple card making. Right, I think that's enough talking from me. I hope you've enjoyed the card. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.